Hey, how's it going, everybody? Keenan and I were inspired by Johnny <laughs> Valentine from Gain Solar. We we're inspired by his latest video series. And we're going to call this like solar repair series or things that we find out in the field. How about you help us come up with a good term? So uh, we're going to show you a grid tie system. Uh, given that it was done, you know, 13 years ago, it's been here for a while. Uh, we've definitely evolved or our industry has evolved over time. But we're going to show you a grid tie system that has some sketchy stuff done. It's been fixed by some other people, but should have been fixed a little better. So let's take a look at what we got. Okay, here we go. Uh, so these are ground mount arrays that a, a guy who is actually a really smart guy, and uh, I was I, I liked some of his ingenuity, but he built all these out of Unistrut, and they're completely adjustable by these lower hinge pins right here, so you can adjust the tilt, and it's kind of a, just a cheap tilt rack. But as you can see, uh, structurally, we got some, some pretty good bowage going on. Um, the other thing that we have going on also is that they didn't put any DC disconnects down here on this system at all. And some of the electrical that was done solar-wise was very subpar. And uh, this should have had DC disconnects down here because they're feeding up to the array about 300 feet away, maybe 200 up a hill. And so we got this box right here where somebody has came back in and done a bunch of butt splice connectors with some shrink tube. And looking at the splices, I'm going to say that I think that they're insulated automotive, um, which also is not the type of the correct type of splice. A little Black Widow action in there. Canon likes those. So the other thing that we've kind of found up, up, upon kind of coming here and looking at these panels, these are old photo watts, uh, photo watt 165s, and all of the junction boxes are falling off. And somebody's taken and duct taped them. And... Uh, tried to silicone them a little bit to seal them but you know we're starting to see some issues but the real concerning factor here is let's walk uh where was it right over here we got junction boxes that have failed and somebody has taken and tried to re-solder it and it's caught on fire you know fried the diode boxes fall there the cover's falling off so uh, we're getting no voltage up the hill, so we're going to try to tarp these things off as best we can because there is no disconnect. Uh, there's uh, three arrays here, and I think what they've done is they've split it in the middle and balanced the uh, 24 panels out, 12 and 12. Um, we're going to tarp these things off so we can make them safe, unhook them, and try to figure out where the fail is. Then we're going to measure everything. If we can't get anything safely up and running, uh, we're going to just look at replacing these modules, upgrading the system. We're going to leave the existing racking, replace the inverter, and uh, go with a solar edge combo and put the inverter maybe down here to keep it a lot safer. So, here goes our repair day. Say hi. This is exciting. Okay, what we found was this uh, this array, the very first one right here, which has eight panels, it, it has two strings of four, and each of the other two arrays, it shares four panels from these, from this to, to make up the string going up the hill. And what we found was that the diodes uh, inside some of the panels are bad, it's blown diodes. And then we've also found evidence that it must have been doing this for a while because the original installer, uh, as, as we kind of showed you guys earlier, he ripped off all the junction box covers as the best reason that we can understand why they're all taped. Um, it must have blown diodes before. And he took and did some creative soldering to re-solder and bypass some of the diodes. Or maybe replaced a couple. But, you know, these are older panels. Um, you can really see that, you know, over the, the lifespan of them, they've discolored quite a bit and got some interesting track marks going through them. So... 
we'll talk to the customer, see how much time they want us to spend, maybe trying to diagnose it, but it's kind of at a point right now where this thing's paid for itself, probably well over, and uh, look at maybe replacing the panels and the old inverters, because the GFI fuses are also blown in that, so we're going to uh, update everybody and move on. Okay, so these are the inverters that they have. Uh, those are razors split up in half, and we basically got a couple of these. These are the older Sunny Boys. Um, these are the 1800U. It's 1800U. This is really one of the first uh, version grid tie inverters that we had out. Um, these did have a lot of problems with the EEPROMs, where the EEPROM would get full, and um, it wouldn't be able to store any more data, and you'd have to change the EEPROMs. But since then, SMA has pretty much just discontinued this thing. I think they still give you a... a discount on buying a replacement inverter for them. But what's interesting is we came up here and the original installers, they ran it through a 600 volt disconnect um, and they fed the positives through. And But the problem was is they just have stuff wire nutted together on this high voltage DC. But what was really interesting is we're trying to start testing voltage and as you start following the strings of what we found down there, up to here we weren't finding any voltage and then we realized that they actually have on this uh, these two inverters uh, we have blown ground fault fuses but we actually have um, on these um, they've actually fed the the wrong negatives um, over to the system and they have uh, voltage going all over the place so we're really seeing some crazy crazy wiring going on here from what these guys have done so this is what we find out in the field Okay, another, okay, another little gem we found was they put in this utility meter, which like a lot of times we do, but let's see if we can see this action. Up in here, they did not even seal the top, and rainwater's just been flooding down inside this electrical box. So we'll never know what we're going to find in there until we pull that meter and open it all up.